Welcome to Kids Fun Club. My name is Nivedita and today we'll read the story Kali Wants to Dance written by Aparna Kartikeyan illustrated by Somesh Kumar. In the fishing village of Kovalam, Kali Veerabhadran is a hero not because he's an actor, not because he has fought off villains. He is a hero because he learned to dance. It's the year 2000 and Kali is 8 years old. Like many boys, he goes to school, plays with his friends, watches TV. Unlike many boys, Kali also dances. Kali loves to watch Padmini dance on TV. She is a famous actor and a fan fantastic dancer he pretends to wear a silange also known as ankle bells and dances bharatnatyam just like her tari tana janu dimmi takat tari kitta taka tadingirna to tadingirna to tadingirna to kali becomes such a good dancer that his teachers ask him to perform at school programs soon He is known in the little fishing village as a Bharatnatyam dancer. One day, Sarah Chanda, who manages a hospital in Chennai, sees him perform on stage. Dittayum ta ta tai, dittayum ta ta tai. She is astonished to see such a talented boy and is moved that he's gotten so far by himself. Would you like to learn Bharatnatyam in Kala Kshetra? she asks him after the performance kali laughs at first dance the dalit community rarely had the opportunity to learn let alone master bharatnatyam in kali's family there is never enough money to spare for dance classes and who has heard of boys dancing for a living but sarah is serious you must learn bharatnatyam in a proper school kali she says I will pay your fees. Sarah arranges for Kali to visit Kala Kshetra, one of the best dance schools in the country. It is a beautiful place in Chennai with lots of trees. Leela Samson, the head of Kala Kshetra, who is also a renowned Bharatanatyam dancer, tells Kali to perform for them. Kali ties a sari crookedly over his trousers and dances to a film song. The teachers think he has the makings of a classical dancer. But Kali can't decide what he wants to be when he grows up. Should he be an actor, a collector, a teacher, a biotechnologist, or a dancer? His friends and family don't really help. Who has ever learned dance and made any money afterwards? It's a waste of time, growls Kali's mama. Only girls dance. You will become girlish. His friends tease him. Amma asks Kali what his heart wants. Do you love dancing? Does it make you feel good? Is that what you want to do always? Yes, dance is All that and more for me, Amma, he replies. Then don't listen to anyone. If it makes you happy, learn dancing. As usual, Amma has all the answers. So after his final school exams, Kali begins to learn three kinds of folk dances at Dakshina Chitra. Oyilatam, Tapatam and Karagatam. Next month Kali begins learning Bharatanatyam at Kala Kshetra. The first few days in school are scary and quiet. When the work gets too much and his legs hurt, he cries to Amma. "Do you want to hurt buffaloes?" Amma asks him sternly. "No, that go back and do your best." Kali begins to adjust to his new world. He makes friends When language is a problem, not all his classmates know Tamil. Kali speaks using mudras. Did you go home for the holidays? 
Have you eaten? At Kalashetra, he becomes a skillful dancer. He becomes lean and fit and full of energy. He can now dance for hours. He learns Carnatic music as well. He makes many friends among the students who have come from all over the country and the world. They share their hopes, dreams, and even the food they bring from their homes. Kali starts getting invitations to perform all across India and the world. He travels by bus, train, and aeroplane to many places. His akkas tease him. Do you remember you could not even sit in a bus without throwing up? Kali laughs as well. It is true. As a child, he would carry a lemon and a plastic bag with him on bus rides. As the years pass, Kali wins awards for his performances. He starts a dance school called Kutambalam in Kovalam. Now, Kali is ready for another performance. He puts on his makeup carefully. He wears his costume with ease. The velvet curtain goes up. Kali begins to dance. Kali the Dancer At the age of 25, Kali Veerapatran is perhaps the only male dancer who has mastered the classical dance form Bharatnatyam as well as three ancient Tamil folk dance forms according to the People's Archive of Rural India. Born in Kovalam, a struggling fishing village not far from Chennai in Tamil Nadu, Kali lost his father very young. It was his mother, Elamalli Virabhadrin, a construction labourer who worked doubly hard to raise him and his siblings. Sarah Chanda, who is a member of the managing committee of Gramaltis Hospital in Chennai, sponsored his education at Kalashetra, India's premier dance school. He has also studied at Dakshina Chitra under Karnan Kumar. Having completed his PG diploma in dance, Kali has started Kutambalam, a dance school in Kovalam. Kali was featured in a documentary film by the People's Archive of Rural India. Many newspapers and TV channels have carried his interviews. He's won awards for his dance, including the Music Academy's Spirit of Youth Award. About the People's Archive of Rural India, Pari. The People's Archive of Rural India is a living journal on and an archive of the world's most complex countryside. The founder, editor, P. Sainath and his team, including an army of volunteers, hope to document the stories of 833 million people speaking well over 700 languages. Pari is also writing the textbooks of the future. That's happening with the numerous stories, photos, videos and audio material going up on the site www.ruralindiaonline.org Hope you've enjoyed the story and feel inspired by the amazing life of Kali Virabhadran. You can find this story and lots more on the online digital repository by Pratham Books, storyweaver.org.in and to learn more about Kali and to see a documentary on him, Look at the link in the description. This is a documentary created by Pari on the life of Kali Virabhadran. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.